There we go. What's going on guys, you boy Jay is here. So if you guys are new to the channel, we do this thing called Canico- Wait, 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 wait. Whipping all this double bit of chop out. People call you bitches at the chop out. I can't trust you, I can't get you real address. I can't trust you, I can't get you real address. It don't mean that be like Jerry Stagger. I might fall in love with my chop out. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are now in season two of canon culture, okay? If you guys are not aware, it's the show where basically I sit around and talk shit about stuff and give some some advice and talk about the entertainment industry and where I'm going within the entertainment industry. So uh, today we have some very interesting topics. Uh, so today I wanted to talk about this situation with uh, the, the Catch Me Outside girl and Whoa Vicky and uh, this other little girl called Lil Tay. Oh my God. All right, so I was scrolling through Instagram yesterday and I I was just appalled. Uh, I, I was just appalled at, at the amount of coonery that goes on <laughs> within like these famous Instagram people. Now it is, it is, it is just ridiculous. The amount of like animosity some of these girls have with each other. And they don't even know each other like they just I, I'm just so confused like maybe they do maybe they don't I don't know But both of them are internet phenomenons for literally just doing dumb shit Like like the concept of just doing dumb shit and getting to a place where you can have some monetary value It just blows my fucking mind and I know I'm not the only person who thinks yo These chicks are really not doing literally anything. They're just like just being themselves and I I'm not even sure as far as like how much is them and how much is them like trying to be somebody else or trying to imitate something I don't really know and to be honest with you I don't really care but I think it's just a very interesting phenomenon the fact that these people can do such outrageous shit and just boom blow up overnight and then be able to take that blow up because sometimes you you're famous but you don't make any money and then they're able to take that that small little glimmer of fame and just expand it into something else so think of it this way uh let's get let's talk about something a little controversial let's talk about kim kardashian's sex tape okay because that's that's a very good example uh, so Kim Kardashian used to hang around with Paris Hilton, who used to be super big, super popular. I say used to because she's kind of not anymore. Like her Instagram not popping like Kim K, okay? Kim K is an icon at this point. Like Kim K is just like, yo, that's the it girl. Paris Hilton used to be that, okay? So just, just to give you some type of scale here. Anyway, so she was dating uh, R&B and hip hop artist Ray J, my boy my boy i love ray j okay i think he's dope i hit it i hit it i hit it i hit it first okay <laughs> so uh anyway so she was dating him and then so obviously they made a sex tape the sex tape was released and she blew up because of the rise of social media okay and so here's here's a thing that i think the entire kardashian jenner clan is really good for it. now I'm not saying I'm a huge fan but I'm a fan of their work okay so they were able to take this one itty bitty scan it, like this tiny ass scandal right and blow it up they have been on television and, and in the limelight for 15 years now so when they say you get your 15 minutes of fame they are stretching it their entire clan is just slaying social media all over the place. There's not a single place you can go where people have not either heard about the Kardashians, know about the Kardashians, or pay attention to the Kardashians in some way, shape, or form. Um, and a, I guess a fourth option is that they hate the Kardashians, which that I, I don't understand. Like people just being themselves and you hate them for it. I, I, a lot of people, that just comes from a place of insecurity, but we'll talk about that on another day. Um, so I think it's very interesting how that family was able to take this little glimmer of thing and just stretch it out into a fucking empire into a dynasty it's amazing at, at, at the amount of pr that they're able to handle over there so with that being said some of these like instagram people and stuff like that like i follow a lot of people on instagram that are supposed to be comedians but they're not they're they're just not funny it, it literally is taking a daily situation like 
forgetting to take back your library book and it's like late and then they'll just put in some catchy top 40 song and it's just like oh my god oh no the i'm gonna have to pay so many fees and then insert song here that's that's super relatable and stuff like that and then oh oh or uh, doing this other thing well they'll take a hot chick put her in like a tank top or something and then all of a sudden play some really top 40 catchy song and then put a laugh track in there or some sound effects and stuff and boom next thing you know it's an Instagram hit now not everything is like boom bam like getting millions of views and stuff like that but it only takes a few shots like like if you guys have ever played darts i love playing darts you only have to throw it so many times before you're you hit a bullseye okay it may take like three thousand tries but you'll hit one eventually and so sometimes a lot of the times you don't even need for people to see all the times that you failed because they're not going to pay attention because you got a million hits on this one v on this one video so Essentially, I'm not even sure what Vicky does. They're not recording artists. They're not personalities. They don't have talk shows. They don't have YouTube channels. Like, what do these people do? What do they do? I know that the Catch Me Outside girl, she's got like, I think she has like a lip gloss or a nail line or something. And she's also like, uh, she has like TV performances and like, you know, where she like goes on show and she shows and she just acts like a real fucking weirdo. Um, and then she also has... A, a clothing line coming out i think or something i'm not sure somebody in the comments will let me know but whatever it is that she is doing oh and she also does music too because she's she's a rapper uh, so that's a thing um she can uh, i i sense a you know a nice uh mayonnaise laid track with chanel west coast coming up so uh <laughs> anyway um these these girls are essentially are essentially famous for doing literally nothing and really what what i want you guys to take away from this is that in this day and age in 2018 you are capable of basically taking any social media platform and just doing whatever the fuck you want and hopefully one day something hits something smashes something just is great something is just like oh it's my 15 minutes of time no bitch it's my 15 minutes your bitch your 15 minutes was up Two years ago okay like like snapchat was still popping when when you had your 15 minutes bitch and then it's just like girls 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 please 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 you're both trash i promise you like there's there's only so much of uh, of like the world can take of you okay and so without like these huge social media platforms like they have what i like to call no talent okay so when you when you see situations of no talent you just gotta call it out for what it is but the lesson that i really want you guys to take from here okay regardless of everything that's going on because on the canon culture show we always do one of the three c's okay if it's not for the cash the clout or for the culture we just don't even bother with it so uh this is something that i want to point out for the culture okay basically what you get away from this is that be yourself no matter what it is, no matter what you're doing, be yourself. Because you never know what type of situations you may get put in. You never know what type of monetary benefit you may have. You may not know what type of benefit it may have, period. Just do you. So if you're going to school, or if you're going to college, or if you're going to work, and you got some some people bothering you about, about who you are, the things that you like, if you like anime, if you like this, that, and the other thing, you're into comic books, let me tell you, the people who are true to themselves are fucking winning. Perfect example, Cardi B. Shout out to Cardi B. Oh, I love you, baby. I love you. I'm pfft, like, you just, you the shit. You the shit, babe. You the shit. So that's shout out to her. But um, she is a perfect example of being yourself and taking it to a point to where people will want to be around you because of that. People will seek things uh, and they'll idolize you because you are yourself. And that's all you really need to do. I try to emulate that the best of my ability every single day to be the person that I am. The only problem with that is I don't make a million dollars. So it's a little difficult for me to be by myself, like be myself all the time, especially like on my channel and stuff like that. Like being myself on my channel has been like very liberating, but also at the time, at the same time, very hindering because you, I want to be out in the public view. I want to show people that I'm an actor, voice actor, uh, director, producer, whatever the fuck I may be this week. Uh, but at the same time, 
I also want people to see that I'm this other type of person. And then so professionally, like jobs will look at you a certain way. Oh, you have a YouTube channel or you're trying to do something with your life. And then they won't give you jobs because of it. And I know I've talked about this on the show before, but like, yo, that is some bullshit. I fucking hate that. I absolutely hate that shit. So then there are certain things that I can and can't say because I'm still within the realm of trying to get a day job and keep a day job. And it makes it hard to employ somebody who speaks the truth. It makes it hard to employ somebody who is really out there in the public eye. Like, I, I don't, I don't understand this concept. It's really weird to me, but whatever kind of gripe companies have with like social media people and stuff like that, it, it, it it's gotten to a point where it's out of hand. And for me, if you're not gonna accept me and my YouTube channel and my ability to perform and my ability to entertain people and my ability to just do all the things that you're afraid to do, your company's probably not a place for me. I'm just saying that's just the way it is. Like, so just just be yourself as much as you can, okay? Just just do it, do you, and that's all you really need. So another thing I wanted to talk about today, uh, because I really didn't get into like the joke portion of that, I'm gonna have to make more videos, man. Like that's that's something that's that I need to be way more consistent about.